Welcome to the weekend edition of the Nightly Nugent. Ted, we've had a great week. Love getting your input on current events. I want to get your input on some current events that's going on up in Michigan, where you are right now, your home state. I'm trying to figure out your DNR laws up there, and it looks pretty confusing to me. Have you had any personal experience with what's going on up there as far as registering deer? You know, Keith, I am the spirit of the wild. This is my 74th deer hunting season in Michigan. I've never missed a hunting season. It's a valuable part of my physics of spirituality as a committed resource steward conservationist to benefit wildlife, to benefit the value and the balance of the land. And I check out the rules and the regulations. Back when I started, back in the 1950s, it was like a three-page folder. Here's the season, here's the license you need, have a nice time. Here's the weapon you can use, here's when you can go, here's where you can go. Okay, that's easy to figure out. Now it's like gone with the wind. It's (laughs) this voluminous, you have to have a team of lawyers just to translate the first couple pages. Then by the time you get to the 75th page, I don't know what they're even talking about. Because here the wildlife Life resources have a productivity capability based on the definitive knowledge after all these years of studying. So we can harvest the surplus to sustain them through the dead of winter where the support network, the food availability, it's not, it doesn't exist like spring and summer. So I'm just a guitar player. I never went to college. I was too busy spending my time in the deer woods. So I know more than those that went to college and sit in a sit in an office with a computer i actually have 26 pairs of lacrosse boots that i've worn out because i live with the deer so this year in michigan there are a number of states a whole bunch of states that are maximizing the family hours of recreation and the unbelievable billions of dollars for conservation licenses permits fees sporting goods food grocery lodging gas land food plot equipment the the the, the fortification feed there's a billions and billions of dollars so many states i could list them start september 1st and in florida and california it starts in july in some states it starts in august to maximize the attractiveness for people to spend the money and reduce the populations to within the carrying capacity of their winter range i hope everyone is still with me on this because i know this i live this i support this i pay for this Well, in Michigan, they started an early youth season three weeks ago. Okay, the biologists determined that we can kill deer starting three weeks ago, just like Ohio and and South Dakota and North Dakota and Wyoming and Nebraska and cat. Okay, except that if it's okay scientifically to start hunting deer on that Friday and Saturday and Sunday, why would it end on Monday? When they want more deer killed, the agriculture, the highway department, the insurance companies, the soup kitchens, families like to hunt, kill the deer, you have to kill them. But it stops. And then they have a veterans liberty hunt, which I support the veterans. So, but that's only a Saturday and Sunday. Well, well, why can't I continue harvesting the surplus on Monday? Well, that's against the law. And then they had an early firearms deer season, which by the way, Fred Bear and a bunch of early visionaries created the early archery season because it's quiet, it's gentle weather conditions, it's attractive for people to participate. But now guns are going off for three weeks and the deer are now starting to get spooky and they're running helter skelter. Okay, I want the kids to hunt, I want the vets to hunt. We do need to kill more does, but it shouldn't be a gun season before the bow season. But now the Michigan DNR has a law with criminal re- criminality attached to it. If you don't call into the website and identify your license number, your age, your date, how long you've been hunting, where you're hunting at, what weapon you use exactly on the map, where you killed your deer, what kind of deer was, is it, is it well we've been hunting deer in michigan for hundreds of years without this information but you know me i want to do the right thing so i got on the computer i could i was so excited I had two perfect arrows on two big swamp donkeys here last night 
beautiful hunt. I, I was just out of body happy. Then I got on the computer and tried to register my deer. I put my license number, okay. I put my statistics, okay. Uh, what season, okay. What date, okay. Now I go to the map, I want to show them where I killed it. What are they, why they want to know that, I don't know. Because I'm on a deer management program, I, I shoot 30, 40, 50 does a year, and they know I do it on my ground. They know where that is. And I turn those uh, that record in. But now I'm trying to get the map and show them where I killed my does, and the map won't go there. I'm trying to move the pin. 35 minutes later, I got a call from my daughter. I got to call my daughter. She needs her dad, but I'm busy registering my deer on a technology that won't let me register my deer. So I stopped and I called Chad Stewart. The Department of Natural Resource Michigan Deer Specialist and I left a message and it sounded like this. Chad, this is Ted Nugent. It is Monday, September 19th at 9 a.m. I just wasted 35 minutes trying to comply with your technology of reporting where, how, and when, and what kind of deer I killed and your technology won't let me do it. It is a pain in the ass. It is punitive, it's arbitrary, it's capricious. I don't even understand the foundation of this new law. I'm not a criminal, but I'm not gonna register my deer because your technology won't let me register my deer. Send this recording to the authorities and have them do whatever they think is the right thing to do. Bang! I've about had it. If you can't explain the science to me, Think of me as Rosa Parks, and you're trying to tell me I can't sit on a certain seat on the bus? I'm sorry, I, have a, I got a hat, and it looks like this. I will not comply. Your system sucks. I tried with everything I had to do it, and the system failed me. Your system is criminal, not me. Wow. You know what, Ted, what happens to those people that are either not tech savvy or don't even have a computer like that. Think about those poor people. I know a bunch of them. These old guys, all they want to do is, is balance the herd, have fun in the great outdoors, get some venison, and we got to go on a computer and fill out all this arbitrary information. And what do they, they haven't even explained what they're going to do with this information. So Chad Stewart and the Michigan Department of Natural Resources and the Michigan Natural Resource Commission and all you conservation, conservation organizations in Michigan, what the hell is going on? The system is flawed. I'm a good hunter. I'm a lawful hunter. I wait for the season. I use the right weapon. I hunt in the right area. I have my licenses. I have my tags. I have my permits. I got my conservation stamp. I got my duck stamp, federal and state. I got all this stuff and still they're going to make a criminal out of me. I have just about had it. Same with Florida. Your b black bear population is completely out of control, threatening lives, destroying livestock and pets and getting killed downtown Naples because you're irresponsible Governor DeSantis and the Florida Game Commission your black bears in the liability column use your head and use your heart and use science and put the black bear in the asset column column and by the way Keith all 50 states have problems and absurd regulations like this that make no sense whatsoever. And we've got to fight. Here's a time and place for this. HunterNation.org. Please, my friends. HunterNation.org. Or you've got to circle the conservative wagons and the conservation wagons. And we do it at HunterNation.org to get rid of these regulations that have nothing to do with managing wildlife. It's about controlling people. Powerful. And while you're at HunterNation.org, look for the link because you have a chance there to win a hunt with Ted and Shemaine Nugent. A legal winter. hunt. Yes. <laughs> a legal hunt in Texas in 2022. Uh, entry start at $20 for five chances to win that hunt, which is incredible. And when you go there, put on there that you heard about this at the Nightly Nude. You can abbreviate it, TNN, whatever works for you. Go to HunterNation.org. We need you, Ted. What a powerful week we had this week. And if you listeners and viewers come back next week, we'll have some more of the nightly nudes right here where there is absolutely 
No fake news. See you and, next week. Kid. And if you want one of these hats that is the freedom battle cry in America today, I will not comply with immoral, absurd regulations. Go to tednugent.com. We just got a whole bunch of these in, and it is the freedom battle cry regalia. Thank you, Keith. <laughs> 